on the way. And uh, this is that mess. And you can see on our uh, latest wind gust tracker, uh, the wind's coming down a little bit. 41 up in Rio Doso. The strongest I've seen is what 62 up there and they got the blue front fire going on too. That doesn't help things. The strongest winds here in El Paso uh, so far been 42 miles an hour. We said 45 and you can see that the winds are down just a little bit, but that dust and sand is going to continue to hang around out there. There's the visibility. We're at two miles five in Alamogordo. It's improved up in Las Cruces. Deming's improved for you folks too. So we're starting to see some of the dust and sand settle. I still think we could maybe pick up a gust at right around 40 from now until really 8 o'clock. You folks on the east side of town are going to experience the brunt of the winds. But we get around 7.30, 8 o'clock, that dust and sand will settle. And we'll start to see the clear skies in here tonight. Then we just await the cold front and the cooler temperatures tomorrow. All right. Here's a look at our latest wind gust tracker, and you notice by 7 o'clock tonight, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the winds are still elevated. They're still going to be up until late tonight. It's going to be after midnight. The front's going to come through. Once the front drives through here, the winds will start to settle a bit. So that is the good news. Now, here's a look at Wednesday morning. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, still out here in Otero County. Some areas still going to be in that breezy category. We're not going to go all calm tomorrow in the wind department. The winds are going to be up a little bit, so kind of keep that in mind throughout your Wednesday and we're going to bring in the cooler air. So, you know, for some of you might see a little bit of a wind chill that will be going on across town. That is, we make our way into your Thursday. Thursday, the big day for a lot of you folks. Halloween, fall festivals going on, various schools and churches. And you notice the wind's not going to be much of a problem on Thursday. We can stay away from any winds. Temperature's going to be cooler in the 70s. So any type of strong winds we have will give us the wind chill. But I don't think we'll see any strong winds on Thursday. There's the front overnight that'll drive through here. That will bring in this, the cooler temperatures throughout the day tomorrow. Some of you may need a light jacket. Here's what we're dealing with right now. We have temps in the 70s and the 80s all across the area. But as I mentioned, that front is going to be driving through here. As we jump ahead, November 4th through the 8th, a wetter pattern sets up. That's good news. So we'll start to track some of the rain chances. I'll go over that coming up at ABC 7 at 6 for you. Take a look at the latest model run. All right, here's the forecast. 72 tomorrow behind that cold front. 73 on Thursday, 80 on Friday. You see that 10% chance of rain. If you have any outdoor activities, not going to be a big deal. We'll have a very slight chance. Rain chances start to go up as we make our way into early next week. And then some more winds on Monday and Tuesday. We'll take a break. Be back.